Welcome to this tutorial on the visualization tools in Huygens. These tools are available for Huygens Essential and Professional. With the visualization tools in Huygens you can visualize and analyze your image in detail. In the Huygens software, in this case Professional, we have already opened a couple of images. First we are going to take a look at the Twin Slicer tool. The Twin Slicer allows you to synchronize views of two images, measure distances, plot line profiles and more. After you select the image you want to view we right click the images. And under view, click the Twin Slicer. The Twin Slicer window will pop up. With the selected images displayed in the left side. We are going to open an image on the right side as well, so we can compare the images. We select the same image only non-dick involved, so we can compare the deconvolution results. By dragging the slider underneath one of the two images you can move through the time frames. By clicking the play button Huygens will automatically move through the time frames of both images. You can adjust the animation speed with the slider underneath and between the two images. After clicking the pause button again to pause the animation we are going to have a look what else can be done in the twin slicer. In the orientation tab you can select in which orientation you want to slice through the image, besides twisting the images and tilting it. In the projection mode tab the default is set to slice view for slicing through the z-stack. It is also possible to show a maximum intensity projection or the sum of all slices. Within the channels and colors you can activate and deactivate channels of the images to be displayed as well as setting specific colors for each channel by either selecting a color scheme or custom set the color. In the contrast tab you can change the brightness of each channel or of the complete image by dragging the slider and selecting the channels. The gamma can be set to linear or to several non-linear modes of mapping data values to pixel intensities. You can also open the contrast editor to adjust the contrast manually. In the next linking, view and plot tab you can adjust setting for the linking between the two images as well as what values you want to view and plot settings. The animate tab can be used to adjust the frames per second in an animation. For more information for shortcut buttons you can take a look in the shortcut info tab. In the time frame tab you can move through the times frames in case your images has multiple time frames. And in the Zoom tab you can zoom in and out on the images. You can also do measurements by dragging over the image. A graph will pop up showing the intensity of the channels along the line. There is also a basic mode available of the Twin Slicer besides the advanced mode we are using right now. In this mode you can use all the basic functions from the Twin Slicer and you do not need a license for it, it is free to use. We now close the Twin Slicer. Back in the main Huygens window we are going to select the next image, to demonstrate the orthogonal slicer. We open the slicer by right clicking the image. Go to view. And select the ortho slicer. Now the orthogonal slicer opens. This tool displays the image that is selected from the main window. The ortho slicer is designed to show the same point in 3D space from three orthogonal directions. Each frame color indicates to which slices of the other views it corresponds. In the color tab you can change the colors of each channel by selecting a color scheme or setting a custom color. You can also activate and deactivate channels you want to view. In the contrast tab you can adjust, like in the twin slicer, the brightness of the channels and change the gamma. In the projection tab you can choose the slices to project. You can adjust the position and width of the orthogonal selection. This can also be done by dragging the lines on the image. In case the image has time frames you can move through them using the time frames tab. With the zoom tab you can zoom in and out of the image. It is also possible to do measurements in the same way as in the twin slicer. We now close the slicer. We are now are going to have a look at the SFP renderer. Select the image you want to render. Right click on the image and go to view to click on the SFP volume renderer. Now the Huygens SFP volume renderer opens. The SFP renderer generates realistic 3D scenes based on the 3D microscopy image.
which is considered as a distribution of fluorescent material. The computational work is done by the simulated fluorescence process algorithm, simulating what happens if the material is excited and how the subsequently emitted light travels to the observer. You can move the image around by dragging it. There are a lot of different options on how to render the image. You can select the quality of the image in the bottom right of the screen. In the Object tab you can change the penetration depth to set the characteristic object size. In this tab you can also enable or disable different channels and change the color of the channels as well as changing the parameters of the channel. In the Background tab you can select the background color by moving the slider, or select black like we did. In the Table tab you can change the settings for the table, like the color, size and if it has reflection and how much. With the Movie tab you can create a movie by selecting the first and last scene and then use the Render Animation button in the right bottom of the screen. Under the Extras tab you can select the render size and change the light settings. We now go back to the main Hoijin's window. Back in the main window we right click the same image again. And go to View. And select the MIP renderer. The maximum intensity projection renderer enables the possibility to obtain an orthogonal projection of 3D data from any given viewpoint. Like in the SFP renderer you can move around the object by dragging the image or by using the sliders to twist and tilt the object. In the Object tab you can change the color of the object and select or deselect channels of interest. You can also change the soft threshold removing voxels with a lower intensity than the value of the threshold. The Box tab can be used to change the box around the object. You can change the appearance of the box or completely disable it. In the Extra tab you find the Render Size settings. And in case you would like to make an animation of the object you can set the first and last scene and find the movie settings under the movie tab. The button in the right bottom of the screen starts rendering the animation. We close the MIP renderer and go to the last free visualization tool. Back in the main window of Hoijins we select the last image. And right click this image. Go to view. And click gallery to open the gallery tool. The gallery tool gives you a quick overview of your image. Instead of slicing through your image using a slide, the gallery tool displays the individual slices of your Z-Stack or time series next to each other. Under the Selection tab you can make a selection of the timeframes or Z-slices you want to view. In the Detailed Tile view in the bottom right of the screen you can see a larger view of a tile and zoom or change the gamma. Furthermore you can change the color of channels and enable or disable channels in the Channels and Colors tab. In the Layout tab you can change the layout of all the displayed slices or timeframes. This was an overview of the free visualization tool in Hoijins. For the Surface Render and Movie Maker option, please consult the specific tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.